welkom op uh, idee. Uh, een dag vol interviews over innovatie, digitalisering, noem het allemaal maar op. Twee uh, gasten met wie ik uh, Engels uh, ga spreken. Hi, welkom. Uh, who, who are you and what do you do? database. Hi, I'm Trent McConaughey and I'm also a co-founder at BigchainDB. I'm CTO. And uh, BigchainDB, yes, it's a blockchain database. And what that means is um, it is blockchain technology that has the scalability to handle the needs of enterprises and the planet. Uh, it looks, acts, feels like a database, yet it gives the benefits of blockchain, things like decentralized control, immutability, and native assets. I've seen you uh, mentioning the planet uh, before, so you're uh, a man or a company uh, uh, with a purpose. How is the planet going to um, be better uh, thanks to the blockchain technology? Yeah, so um, it's about control. Blockchain technology allows control to be spread among many participants, dozens or thousands, even millions in the future potentially. So rather than one or a handful of a few centralized entities controlling vast resources, it's actually much more democratic control among many more. And what that means is things like your personal data, um, rather than having one big organization or a few owning controlling your personal data, you actually get to control it and dole out information about yourself only on an as-needed basis. Or things like on the internet itself, um, about compensating creators to make it really easy to uh, share your videos and have other people pay for it, et cetera, et cetera, in a way where it's not just one big entity under the hood. Yeah. What, um, um, of course, we've, we've first we've heard a lot about the Bitco Bitcoin and now it's blockchain. Um, uh, and of course, I under, under, understand that, and that's good, I think, because I think uh, the money bit is, the, to me, the, the, the less interesting than what can we do more with, with the technology um, uh, behind it. Um, to get this to a bigger audience, what is necessary? To get it to planetary scale, I think scalability is important, right? So, so it's a technical thing as well? It's a technical thing as well. You need to build the infrastructure, you need to build the rails, before you put the train on top of it. Um, and this is what we're building towards. Yeah. Uh, then also beyond that though, it's about applications that have benefits to the end users, right? So where we started out was, was building something we called a scribe. And it was actually solving the problem of how do you collect digital art? And we realized that you could collect digital art you could own digital art the way that you own Bitcoin. So it was really a, um, a problem that we were solving and we made it a, a website that was highly usable and um, thousands of artists have been signing up and using it. But we, that's where we ran into the problems of scale and that's what led us to BigchainDB. Um, there's going to be other applications, but it really is about, there has to be a benefit. It can't be technology for technology's sake. Yeah, and the benefit is to the end user, to consumers, right? So you need to build those bridges between the technology and the end user, the consumer. And sometimes consumers don't even care about the technology that is used behind, but they want to know a certain characteristics and certain value that they get from it, right? So for example, for creators, uh, like blockchain technology is uh, a life changing for creators because it's better connecting uh, dollars with the digital content, right? And we will see a lot of different applications built on top of blockchain technology. It's been already for several years. Uh, some applications been built and we will see even more of them and it will be very beneficial for the end user. Yeah. So, so for example, let, let, let's just, uh I make music myself. Let, let, let's 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 stick to music and, cre and creation. Um, in a couple of years' time, how is the, the, the blockchain going to affect my uh, uh, my world or the technology you use? Uh, radically, uh, possibly. Um, so basically, it will. Right now, you can use the internet to connect with artists. Um, right now, you can talk to them and so on using Twitter, or whatever. That's cool. Um, but when you go to buy music from them you're actually going through a label and the label is taking a large, large cut of that. Um, or if not the label, one of the streaming providers. And that's cool, it's actually a lot better than it used to be. But what if that a lot more of that value could go directly to the creators, to the musicians, to the, to the producers, etc. Um, and a lot, less of the, a lot less of the money was just simply spent on infrastructure and administration, right? 
This is actually what blockchain enables. It removes friction in connecting the transfer of value from the producers of value to the consumers of value, right? And that could be for music, it could be for energy, um, it could be for financial systems, um, even identity and social media. Yeah. Uh, but but the, uh, the, the problem often with something that can be um, of value for a lot of things makes it more difficult as well. So what, is, what do you focus on? Or do you really focus on all the industries? Yeah, so ourselves, uh, we started out um, within the world of art, fo really focusing on that, solving that problem well, and, and we're very proud of what we built with Ascribe. But when we ran into the problem of scalability, we saw that there was no strong technology solutions out there, and no one was saying, hey, you know, this is really a database. Um, how is the internet power today? It's with distributed databases that do go to internet scale. So let's start with one of those, and, and then bring in the blockchain characteristics, decentralized control, immutability, and assets. Um, and if you think about databases, um, they aren't targeting any single industry. They are a broad general purpose technology. Uh, you don't use a database just for music or, or just for um, banking. Um, database technology is used um, as this hor thin horizontal across a whole bunch of different industries. Same for us. So we focus as sort of a very thin horizontal on just providing database technology, right? We're not trying to provide the higher level applications. Other people build on top of us, right? We have people building on us in intellectual property for music and uh, for other applications, in government for things like land registries, in banking for stock exchanges, other things like that, uh, identity, personal sovereign data, um, energy, supply chain. These are different verticals that people are building on top of us. Um, and we're just making a point and providing this really great database technology that has blockchain characteristics. Yeah. Um, a couple of the fields you mentioned, like banking, etc. It's clear what it uh, and accounting or whatever it is. I understand it or selling a house or whatever it is. But but like you said, we we started out uh, from from sort of art uh, interest and art perspective as well. To me, that seems a more difficult uh, audience to uh, uh, um, uh, to get in technology because when you're an artist, you make art. That's true. Um, also, like. We know art market, um, it's n the most irregulated market, one of the most irregulated markets, yeah. right? Uh, so, blo and blockchain is actually bringing transparency into the provenance, into the chain of ownership, uh, which actually brings to the valuation of the artwork. So, um, definitely some people want, want that transparency for several different reasons. But uh, blockchain technology also enables this clean and uh, immutable attribution, this creating this link between artists and their creative work. And that is important to artists, this attribution. And those artists who do want to monetize, especially in the digital world, we started with digital um, works that are digitally based as files. Um, this idea of creating the scarcity, so you can create the unique digital editions, and at the same time, you can also share your work as much as possible on the internet with a lot of people, um, but you do have those digital unique editions that you can also monetize on, and collectors know that they have this right as associated to this specific edition. So, yeah, there is, um, some people won't want that transparency, but we saw a lot of artists who came to us and said, this is exactly what we wanted. We want to create this clean provenance into the future because starting, it, it has to start at the point of creation. And as soon as artists claims their claim of authorship and put us on the blockchain, he creates this unbreakable link between him and his artwork. And then with each consequent sale, of the edition, for example, they create clean provenance into the future. Yeah. Um, last question. Um, uh, very often, uh, I have the feeling that the, the, the world of the blockchain and people with that, it's a lot of believers and non-believers still. I, I have the admission that there are a lot of some people saying, of course, this is going to change our whole world. Tell me why it's going to change, change my world. Sure. So. The best analogy is the internet itself. Uh, the original internet with the World Wide Web on top, that was about the digitization of information. It connected all these people throughout the world uh, um, for the first time ever and to transfer information back and forth. 
and you know you rewind to the early 90s, mid 90s, there was a lot of hype. Um, and then you know late 90s, a lot of things imploded, but there was real value in it, right? Blockchain is about the digitization of value. So um, whereas information is maybe a trillion dollars worth of value, um, value itself, um, whether it's atoms and supply chains or banking and so on, there's probably 100 trillion dollars worth of assets that blockchain can help to, to digitize and connect. So there's hype, it's going to be there, but it's real. And um, there's going to be naysayers, that's fine, right? We've committed our careers to this right now because we believe that it's going to make a difference. We're seeing it make a difference in all these different organizations that we're working with. So let the naysayers be naysayers. We're going to build the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Zij gaan verder met het bouwen van de toekomst, hun toekomst, onze toekomst. Zo direct praten wij hier natuurlijk weer verder als je nu live kijkt met andere gasten, andere sprekers, andere partijen die hier aanwezig zijn. En kun je dat niet live meekrijgen, dan kun je dat later allemaal zien via ons YouTube kanaal. Dankjewel.